All the links you need to join my chat or take action on the course or the mentorship are here. Otherwise, click that Twitter link to private message me. Over this weekend, many people were profiting in the chat. If you want to become a student, I do offer one-to-one -one mentorship or have a course for anyone that doesn't have too much time. If you just want to be part of the chat, all the links that you need are found in the description and comment section below. So you can either just become a member and join the chat or actually take action and become a student. Starting off on the daily time frame for Quant, we can see that we are beneath all moving averages. This would suggest downtrend continuation. However, we do have a key level of support very slightly below us at $100 because it's a psychological level. So while this is a holding, you could actually argue this is somewhat of an accumulation. Although that could be the case, you need to break through all sets of moving averages. So until any break or above $120, any pumps up is just all fake pumps. We can see in the past where I gave you this double bottom trade, I did tell you guys that this was a, a false uh, false uh, pump because we are beneath the 200 as long as we're below the 200 we should be looking for any pumps to sell and then we can see we didn't even get above the 55 let alone even test it so we're just seeing a lot of um, manipulation a lot of bull traps at the moment this is what we see in downtrends so a lot of bullish patterns especially w's failing we in fact have one bottom over here and a second bottom we failed to break this neckline you have a second uh, double bottom over here with one bottom neckline second bottom you also failed to break out on this occasion you did luckily enough i gave you the target and i said once the target is met you're going to reverse simply because we are in a downtrend beneath all these moving averages only once we're clearly above the 200 holding its support then breaking its own highs so what i do mean by that is we came up above the 200 over here we used it as support eventually failed to break the high so that's what we want to see we want to see us breaking this high and only then we believe the 200 is going to push us in an uptrend until that very moment yeah we can see it resulted in a fake out so we are we have finally returned done that dead cat bounce scenario which is this whole situation over here and this is something that we called well uh, six, seven months ago, well, in, well back into the past when FTX first capitulated. Even before that, yeah, at, at that very moment, we were calling for this to be a potential head and shoulders pattern over here. At that time, we had this shoulder. I said we need to lose $100. $100 wasn't lost. I gave this double bottom and then I gave this double bottom and targets were met at the bear market box over here bear market box so we met the the target uh out of that the double bottom over here and after the targets met as i just explained with this one because we're in this now newly formed downtrend with how aggressively we came down any pumps up any bullish patterns may not even work but may work in the short term worked in the short term after patterns target was met what trend are we in downtrend so what happens downtrend continuation we return back to the lows so again what was this signal downtrend continuation are we yet to complete a downtrend continuation no why because hundred dollars is still holding so you actually yet to get that downtrend continuation from that point yes we have gone down but we need to lose this low for downtrend continuation until that very moment there is a chance of flinging back up going to three hundred dollars but I think it's more likely as we are beneath the 200 EMA, which is now smack on in line with the head and shoulders neckline over here. Any pump to that should just result in further continuation lower. Me personally, just waiting to see the reaction from 100. We could even get a fake out below, guys. This is another nasty thing that could happen. Is It can get very annoying because we're waiting for $100 to be lost. You can lose it as there's a wick down at 94. You could even come back up and reclaim it. So just need to be careful but yeah from the very moment over here the patterns target down to about 77 to 81 dollars in between here well let's just say 75 to 81 dollars has been validated but you see how these fibonacci's are here they will only happen on the loss of 94 so kind of need to lose 194 to get down to there we have a neckline at 100 being the lowest body candle close for this larger descending triangle position over here and with that, the target is back down at a roughly 40, 50, yeah, 45 to 50 dollars. Let's see if that will be the case. I have a chart that actually shows quant has already gone down there on the special quant chart. So there is a big whip down there. I'm not, I'm not really too focused on this chart, but yeah, it's already telling that it's gone down there. Could that just be like showing us the future that we are going to fill in this whip? I personally have no idea, guys, with this uh, because, yeah, it's not appearing on any other quant chart. It's just on that special quant chart that's paired up with the like BTC, the like quant BTC, BTC USD chart. But, yeah, let me know what you think. Do you think that's a 
precursor to telling us that we are actually going to head to the targets that I just showed you all the way down there? Or do you think that's just a bunch of nonsense? Me personally, I think it's just a bunch of nonsense. But the reason why I say that is because I like to play it level by level and no loss of 100 means no target to over here. And so if that's the case, then you're definitely not going down there. So that's why we need to play it level by level. I think in yesterday's update, I did mention once patterns targets are met, usually reverse. So wouldn't even be surprised if we reverse from here. But again, you need to reclaim 94 to $100. Otherwise, the pump into it is just a fake uh, bull trap. And then you do actually continue lower. So we need to see a reclaim of $100 if we were to lose it after meeting these targets down here. Otherwise, there's potential. Any pump up is a bull trap. And we do actually continue lower. This would be so so nasty for all other alts because quant is actually quite high up been quite stable over the last 10 months being at the same price so although it hasn't gone up like everything else at least it hasn't gone down like everything else so it is holding up in that sense that's why having a larger portion of the portfolio in quant like myself is a great idea i think i have about 30 percent of my portfolio or 25 to 30 percent of my portfolio in quant so yeah on dips it's going to be holding uh holding the my portfolio up especially if i'm in, if i'm in micro caps underneath 100 million market cap for example those can you know even in bull markets dip 80 percent let alone what what's go, what could continue to happen if we are to continue with this bear market over here. Personally, I do think that the bottom is in. This could all be wiped out. Again, I take it level by level. So <laughs> we're going to have to wait for a very long time, six months plus, one year plus, to know if we are going to get down there. It could happen very fast. I've got personally no idea that if it's going to happen very violently. I think that if we were to lose this, it should actually. But again, there's another support at 94. There is some support here at 87. There is some support here at 83. So it's going to, I think it will, it will take a while to get down there. But yeah, we never know. And also, if this were to start this uh, downtrend continuation, the accumulation to go up will take a very long time. And then, yeah, dumps fast. So we just need to see. I will be here along the way. But yeah, for the moment, as we still remain above $100, Nothing I just said is going to happen. We're simply waiting for $100. This is why I haven't been telling you to sell. I'm getting a lot of people in the comments saying, why would I sell now? I'm not saying sell, guys. I'm just making you aware that I can go down. In actual fact, if you've been following the channel for long enough, I told you to sell all the way up here. I told you to buy all the way down here at 50, and I told you to sell at $200 plus simply because we retested an old trend line from 2021, which so happened to be this head and shoulders pattern, which I was also calling back then and not getting a lot of love back then when I was calling for it because again we were up in the 200 we were up in the 150 to 200 and me saying $70 is about to come it didn't fit the narrative people were calling for 1,000 uh, 800 1,000 2,000 5,000 10,000 and you just need to be very careful about those quant pages this is why I try to bring the reality trying to make you guys aware of all the potential scenarios so we're just prepared simply so just waiting for 100 dollars to be lost i think because there's a larger build up over here it's pretty much certainty well can't say that but i would personally believe on the loss of 100 dollars. it doesn't 94 doesn't even matter but again it is still a support it can on that off chance bring you a bounce that reclaims 100 so if we lose 100 and it's reclaimed you're no longer going down please understand that lose 100 and reclaim it you're no longer going down then there's also another scenario where you lose it, reclaim it, looks like it's going to go up and then it continues down. So that can also happen, guys, just trying to make you aware. So don't worry, I will be here along the way. Hopefully a clearer picture does form. But at the moment, while $100 is still being held, we technically got higher lows over here with a chance of heading back up. But me personally, while beneath all these moving averages, as I said at the beginning of the video, the 200 EMA is my trend decider. Even if we do pump up now, I expect to get hammered back down by the 200 EMA. You could find key levels of support along the way, have another go up and try and break through it. But for the moment, I can't have that scenario in my head. The scenario in my head is we're beneath all moving averages. Price should continue lower unless shown otherwise. Even if we reclaim the 20 and the 55, I don't care. I need the 200 being reclaimed, guys. And that would be actually be the neckline of this head and shoulders pattern. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you want to join the family, whether that's as a member to see how the chat is or to actually become a student of mine, all the links you need are found in the description and comment section below. 